Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, and we're going to do some yoga and some Tai Chi. And we're also going to use a chi ball today. And I've got kind of a chi ball right here. This one's actually weighted. It weighs two pounds. If you don't have a chi ball, because I know that's not like something everybody has in their closet, right? Um, you could use any kind of a ball. You could use a grapefruit, an orange, a lemon, a lime, just something to hold in your hand because some of the Tai Chi moves that we're going to be doing, you're sort of having this visualization of holding something. So you simply can visualize it, but it's nice to have something. And then when it's weighted, you would be surprised at how just two pounds can all of a sudden feel super heavy when you're doing these super, super slow motion things here. So just a little story about Tai Chi and how I kind of got into it. Um, I had surgery years ago. I don't even remember how long ago. Maybe 20 years ago. Anyways, um, I couldn't do anything as far as exercise. Um, and, you know, that kind of was driving me crazy. And I'm like, I got to do something. Let me just try this Tai Chi stuff out. And I was um, pleasantly surprised at just how uh, challenging it could be. <clears throat> Here I am in my living room just doing these slow motion movements and heart rate's getting up, feeling nice and warm. And it was actually difficult because there's a lot of slow, you know, kind of balancing type movements. Plus it's very relaxing. And that was the other sort of pleasant surprise was just that slow methodical movement and matching the breath to the movement, inhaling on the up, exhaling on the down. It just, whoa, it was almost like a drug. But anyways, so we're gonna do a little bit of Tai Chi. That's uh, just kind of my history of how I got into it. <clears throat> and then if you've got some aromatherapy of some sort, um, it's always nice to spray something nice in the room that smells good, especially when you're doing yoga and you're breathing in deeply. You know, the theory about aromatherapy or actually just like burning incense at the beginning of um, a lot of yoga classes is that if it smells good to you, <laughs> that's the problem is that not everybody likes the same fragrances, but you're in your own home and you can do that now. But if it smells good, you're more inclined to inhale deeply because you just want to kind of bring in that wonderful fragrance. So for me, this is a, and I've got lots of little mixes here, but this is a lemongrass essential oil with some vanilla. So I sprayed some on a little uh, wet paper towel and kind of wiped my mat off with it. That way when my head is down there, like for instance in child's pose, I'm smelling it, but can also kind of, you know, mm, spray it around the room and make it smell nice in here. So do you have your water or your refreshment drink nearby? So we'll get started in a second here. We're in a core focus this month. So every week we'll be kind of focusing in on a different exercise that strengthens the core. And this week it's all about planking. So we started with a minute and then we just add 15 seconds each day. Today we are up to a minute and 45 seconds. It'll be two minutes tomorrow and then 2.15 on Saturday. And then we'll have a whole new exercise to do for next week. So if you are ready and you have your mat, I've got mine just kind of like this today. Sometimes I, I don't know, do it crooked, still experimenting with the best position. But you've got three different ways that you can do your plank. So the first level would be on your knees here. And you always want your hips to be forwards of the knees. So if your hips are up here and you're planking, I mean, you can kind of plank without <laughs> without any resistance at all. So you must bring those hips forward some, then come down onto your elbows. So think nice straight line from your shoulders down to the knees. Okay, so level one is there. And then level two, you would tuck your toes under and back. And you might just kind of alternate between straight leg plank, hold it for as long as you can, and then just drop to the knees maybe to take a rest. And then straighten your legs again, as long as you can hold it there, and then just lower down. And then of course, level three would be all the time straight legs. And then there are some level four things that I sometimes throw in there, like lifting a leg and out to the side and, you know, just there's all kinds of variations, shifting the weight forward and back. So let's go ahead and start with our one minute, 45 second plank. 
So you want something comfy for your elbows, uh, probably your yoga mat if you've got that. So get in position, you bent knee um, takers, you're right here. Don't let your head just kind of flop like that. Keep your eyes gazing about a foot out in front of the edge of the mat. And then level two, you can be here and drop to the knees when you're ready. So are we ready? On your marks, get set and go. Here it is, we're planking now. So think nice straight line from the crown of your head all the way down to the heels. You wanna flex your buttocks, you wanna flex your abdominals. Think about pulling your navel upwards towards your spine. A big inhale breath through the nose. Now use that exhalation to super contract your abdominal muscles up and in, even flexing your glutes, flex your quads. And again, big inhale breath. And then exhale it out. Again, inhale. And then exhale it out. So if you're in straight legs and you want to take a break, you just drop to the knees for maybe a breath or two. And then come right back up into the straight leg version. We are almost there. About 45 more seconds. So inhale breath if you want. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, move it out to the right side. Inhale straight behind you. Exhale, set your toes down. Inhale, breath. Left leg goes up. Exhale, move it out to the side. Inhale, straight back. And then exhale, down. One more time for each leg. Inhale, right leg goes up. Exhale, kick it to the side. Inhale, straight back. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, kick to the side. Inhale, back. And then exhale down. One more big inhale, breath through the nose. And then exhale it out. Good, now drop to the knees. Push back into extended child's pose stretch. Walk those fingertips out. Nice straight arms. Let your head hang heavy here. Good, now press the palms down, lift your head up. And let's come on up into tabletop position. So separate the knees, walk the hands in closer. Inhale breath, let that belly drop down. And then just open up your chest to the front here. Pull your shoulders away, look forwards. Exhale breath, you're gonna round the spine. You're gonna draw the belly upwards, point that tailbone downwards, and spread your shoulder blades apart here. Do it again, inhale breath, extension of the spine, head up. And then exhale, breath round. <sighs> inhale, breath, extension, head up. And then exhale, breath, round the back up. Good, now just return to flat back, neutral position. You're gonna extend the right leg back and the left arm out. Just come to parallel. Keep that right hip level with the left. Inhale, lengthening out. Exhale, breath. Move the limbs off center so you make this nice diagonal line from the top left to the bottom right. Inhale, center. Exhale, hand and knee down and then round your back up here. And then return to flat back. Other side, here we go. Left leg, right arm out, inhale. Exhale, breath, move off center. Diagonal line from the top right to the bottom left. And then inhale, breath, back to the center. Exhale, hand and knee down, and then round that spine up. And then one more time each side, ready? Here we go, right leg, left arm, inhale. Exhale, breath, move off center, maybe a little bigger diagonal line. Inhale, breath to the middle we go. And then exhale, hand and knee come down, and then round your back up here. And then switch to the other side. Left leg, right arm reaching out, inhale. Exhale, breath, move off center. So nice diagonal line from the top right to the bottom left. Inhale, back to the center, reach out. Exhale, breath, hand and knee come down, and then you round the back up here, chin to the chest. Good, now just slide out onto the forearms here. 
And then bring your hands together. So you make like a little triangle there. And you're gonna tuck the toes under and back. And as you do, just sort of drag your toes across the mat. So you feel wonderful stretch on the bottoms of your feet, right where those toes connect into the foot body. Wonderful stretch. The poor toes, sometimes they're just trapped in shoes all day long. You don't get to spread out and stretch. So keep the toes tucked under, inhale breath. On the exhale breath, lift the knees up and straighten the legs out and then melt your heels to the back of the mat. Maybe shimmy the toes back a little farther and then bring your head behind the line of the elbows. So this is your dolphin stretch. Think strong shoulders, walk it out, shift the weight back and forth from foot to foot. Big stretch for each calf muscle, each Achilles tendon, stretch it out. Good, now bring the feet together, super straight legs, inhale breath. Exhale it out. Right leg lifts up, inhale breath. Just go as high as is comfortable for you. And then exhale, bend the knee and then just set that foot right back down next to the left. Left leg goes up, inhale breath. And then exhale, bend the knee and then just sort of float it back down to the mat. Right leg up, inhale breath. Exhale breath, bend the knee, and then just drop the leg down. One more time, left leg goes up. Exhale breath, bend the knee, and then just float the leg down. Set the feet together. Stay here for one breath. Inhale. Exhale it out. Good, now just drop the knees down. Push those hips back into extended child's pose. Well, I put my mic back in, it fell out. Stretch your arms out in front. All right, and then from here, lift your head up, press the palms down into the mat. You're gonna shift those shoulders all the way right over those wrists here, and then tuck the toes under. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Let's lift the knees up, and then shimmy your toes back a little farther. Fire up those glutes, those abs, those quads. Inhale breath, just lift the right leg to parallel. Exhale breath, can you bring that right knee up to the right elbow? Inhale, stretch it back again. Exhale breath, set your toes down. Inhale breath, left leg lifts up just to parallel. Exhale breath, squeeze your abs, draw that knee right up to the elbow there. And then inhale, stretch your leg back. Exhale down. One inhale breath here. Then on the exhale breath, send the sit bones up. Dive your head down. Push back into ex down dog. Now from here, you're gonna walk your feet and hands together to the center of the mat. So feet are out, maybe a little wider than the hips and just hang upside down here you can grab your elbows like this or you can just let the hands kind of dangle wherever they are and then begin to shift the weight a little bit from left to right just kind of swing and sway Good, now release the hands down to the floor right in front of your toes. On an inhale breath, you're gonna straighten the legs out, lift up halfway and then gaze forwards here, pull the shoulders back away from those ears. And then exhale breath, soften the knees and then just melt back down into a forward fold. Do that once more, inhale breath, lift the head up, straighten your legs, straighten the arms. Think of lengthening from the tailbone all the way out through the crown of the head here. And then release, soft knees, and then melt back down into the fold. From here, you're gonna bend those knees a lot, and as you do, lift the head up. Fingertips are still touching the floor. Look forwards there. And then reach the arms all the way out and up. Stand up tall, inhale breath. 
And then exhale, breath. Chest expansion, drop those arms down. And then roll the shoulders around to the back. All right, so just turn to face this way. <laughs> and then bring those feet out nice and wide. Toes are forwards. Drop the tail down, shoulders back and down. Big inhale breath, arms up over your head here. Exhale breath, spin the right toes out that way and then just drop it into a warrior two. Inhale breath, reverse warrior here. Slide that left hand down the back leg and then reach the right arm up and over. Think of lengthening up that way more. Good, inhale breath, back into warrior two. Relax your shoulders down. And then exhale breath, forearm on your thigh, side angle pose. So reach this left arm over the ear here. Come back up into warrior two, inhale breath. Exhale, bend the right knee. Flip your front palm, inhale breath, reverse warrior. This time, bend the left elbow. See if you can slip it around the small of your back over here by that right side of your waist. And then let's reach this right arm up. Bend the right knee more. Good, come back up, inhale. Exhale, side angle pose again. Forearm on the thigh, and then nice long line. Think from the outer edge of your foot all the way up the body, out to the fingertips. Pull the shoulder back and look up. Good, now from here, come up into warrior two, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, straighten the right leg, pick the toes up, turn them forwards, and then arms over the head, and then chest expansion here. So open the arms up behind you there. Interlace behind the back, chest out, chin up, inhale. On an exhale breath, just sort of lunge the chest forwards, hinging at the hips, flat back, forward fold. Just let those arms fall over in front and let your head hang heavy here. You can turn the head some from right to left. Good, now just release the hands down to the mat. Right underneath your face, inhale breath, half lift here. On the exhale breath, kind of shift the weight more towards the backs of the feet, open the arms up, nice flat back, inhale breath, drop the tail down, palms up, exhale, pull right through to heart center here. Inhale breath, arms sweep up over the head. Exhale breath, pick up those left toes, spin them to the left, and then just drop it right into that nice warrior two, shoulders are relaxed. Back leg is straight, drop that tail, firm the belly, and just lengthen that wingspan. Flip that front palm up, inhale breath, reverse warrior. We go back here, slide the right hand down that back leg. Look up at your fingertips and bend the left knee a little bit more. Inhale breath, warrior two. And then exhale breath. Let's just flow right on into side angle pose, forearm on the thigh. Right arm reaching over the ear, push the pelvis forwards a bit, pull the shoulder back a bit, and just look up. Good, come back up, inhale breath. Exhale, bend the knee a little more again, flip the front palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Now this time, bend that right arm if you can, slip the hand around the small of the back, hand comes over here by that left waist, and then look up at the hand here. Bend the left knee another inch. Breathe. Come back up, inhale, breath. Exhale, let's flow once again into side angle pose. Forearm on the thigh, right arm over the ear, hips pressing forwards. You come up, inhale, breath. And then exhale, straighten the left leg, pick the toes up, spin them to the front, and the palms press together overhead. And then draw your hands right through to heart center here. Inhale, breath, arms sweeping up. And then exhale, flat back, hinging at the hips. Come on down and just rest the hands on the mat right under the face. Again, turn the head a little side to side. Good, now lift up halfway. Just come up kind of high on the fingertips there and look forwards. Legs are straight, kind of shift the weight towards the backs of the feet, arms open wide. Come on up, drop the tail down, palms up, inhale. Exhale, breath, hands pull through to heart center. 
Inhale, breath. Arms sweeping up. Exhale, warrior two on the right. Inhale, breath, reverse, warrior. You can bring the hand behind the back or just slide it down the back leg. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. You can go forearm on the thigh or you can bring your hand all the way down to the floor here, side angle. Come back up, inhale, breath. Exhale, bend the knee a little bit more. Once again, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, lengthening. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, breath, side angle pose. Either forearm can be there on that thigh, that's fine, or you can reach here for the floor and just stretch that left arm over the ear. Good, now come back up, inhale, breath. Exhale, straighten right leg, toes forwards, and the arms come up over the head here. And then chest expansion, reaching around behind you. Let's interlace the opposite way with the fingers this time. Inhale, breath, chest out, chin up. On the exhale, breath, kind of push the weight towards the backs of the feet, hips back, hinge at the hips, and we fold all the way over. Let your head turn a little side to side here. Good, slowly release those hands down to the mat. Right underneath your face here. Come up high on the fingertips, inhale, look forwards. And then on the exhale breath, shift the weight back a bit. Arms open wide, and then we come all the way up to the top. And then hands pull through to heart center. Relax your shoulders down. Inhale breath, arms sweep up. Exhale breath, pick up those left toes, spin them to the left, and then just drop it into a nice warrior two. You wanna drop that tail under, back leg nice and firm, kind of press that back foot down into the mat. Inhale breath, reverse warrior. Either hand slides there, or you can bring that arm around behind your back. Look up at the fingertips, reach high to the ceiling. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale breath, side angle pose. So once again, forearm can be here on the thigh, or if you wanna get a little deeper stretch, reach for the floor with the fingertips. Stretch that right arm over the ear. Good, come back up, inhale breath. Exhale, bend the knee, flip the front palm up. Inhale, reverse warrior again. Exhale, lengthening. And then come back up, inhale. Exhale, breath, side angle pose. Reach the right arm over the ear. Breathe. Inhale, breath, come on up. Exhale, turn to the front. Hands pull through to heart center. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. We hinge at the hips, come all the way down. Let the head go. Turn the head a little side to side here. Good. Inhale, breath, up. halfway, look forwards. Exhale, shift the weight towards the backs of the feet, firm the core, arms open wide, and then we come all the way up to the top, inhale, breath. Exhale, hands pull through to heart center. All right, so from here, walk your feet together, or you can do a jump together, whatever you wish. Inhale, breath, arms sweep up over the head here, on an exhale, you're gonna grab that left wrist, you're gonna pull it up high. You're gonna bend the right knee just a tiny bit to keep the left leg straight. Let's take it into a side bend. So think about pushing your hips way over there to the left side, but reach those arms up and over. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, grab that right wrist, pull it up. Bend the left knee just a little bit. Keep your right leg straight and then bump those hips over to the right. Side lean to the left. Good. Let's do it one more time each way. Inhale, breath. Arms reaching straight up. Exhale, grab that left wrist. Pull it up and over. Bend the right knee slightly. Keep the left leg straight. Lengthening that whole lateral torso. Good. Come back up nice and tall. Straight legs. Inhale. 
exhale breath. Grab the right wrist, pull it up and over, side lean over to the left, slight bend in the left knee, and bump your hips to the right, lengthen the arms out, inhale. Exhale, come back up. And then relax those arms down. And then shoulders roll up and around. How are we doing? All right, so we're gonna take it down to the mat. I'm gonna get a sip of liquid. <laughs> this is yerba mate green tea. With a little bit of electrolyte replacement stuff. So let's see how many are in the class today. 10, Woohoo! Hi, all 10 of you. Hi. <laughs> okay, so turn to your right. Come all the way up to the mat, to the very top of the mat is what I meant to say. You're on your mat, just come to the top of the mat. All right, get your hair out of your eyes. All right, shoulders roll back and down, staying up nice and tall and straight. I know I'm not looking at you, but I think sometimes a total side view might be good on this particular sequence I'm gonna do. Inhale, breath, arms sweep up. Exhale, breath, soft knees, hips back, reaching out, out. Come all the way down into a forward fold. Inhale, breath, half lift, look forwards. And then exhale, breath, fold. Soften the knees, drop the head down. Now take a big giant step back with your left foot into a lunge. Maybe even shimmy the toes back a little bit. I want you to come up high on the fingertips and lift the head and chest up. Now if this is uncomfortable for you, just drop your knee down. That's how you modify. And then when you're ready, you can just float the back of the knee back up. So stay right here. Look forwards, can you stretch the arms straight out? Spread the fingers wide, shoulders down. Strong back leg, strong base leg. Kind of push down a little bit through that right foot. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath. Float the hands down. You're gonna place the left hand there. You're gonna roll onto the outer edge of your back foot. I'm turning my back to you. I'm gonna sweep the right arm all the way out and over the head here. Good, and then drop that arm back down. I'm gonna do it one more time. Inhale, breath, kind of lifting the hips up. And then exhale down. Good, I'm gonna place the right hand back beside my foot. I'm gonna roll back onto the ball of that foot. And then from here, I'm gonna straighten out my right leg, flexing the foot so the toes are pulled up. Heel is digging down. So once again, if you're on your knee, it looks like this. If you're on straight legs, it looks like this. So just lower the head to the knee. Big breath in here, inhale. Exhale. Good, now from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spin your right toes to the front. You're gonna come into a straddle forward fold. So either hands kind of just drag in there or maybe elbows are down, maybe head is down. However far down you go, that's just where you go. Don't worry about achieving some goal that takes you beyond the point of comfort. You should never be in pain ever, ever, ever. It should feel good. Alrighty, so from here, you're gonna come up high on the fingertips and look forwards, half lift, inhale. And on the exhale breath, pick up your left toes, spin them this way. We're gonna come into a lunge over here now. So facing this wall. So once again, you can drop to the knee if you wanna modify or lift the back of the knee up. So you're in this runner's lunge and you're high on the fingertips. Real strong base leg here with the left foot kind of pushing down, back of the leg lifting up. Lift the chest up a bit more and then reach forward. Spread the fingers wide. Real strong pose, inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath. You're gonna float the right hand down and place it on the floor right beside your foot. And then you're gonna roll over onto the outside edge of that ankle, but keep your legs straight. And you're gonna sweep this left arm all the way out and over, kind of push the hips up here. And then lower them down a little bit. Stretch that left arm away. I know your back is to me as well. So just try to listen to the cues. Inhale, breath, lift it up. Exhale, breath, lower the hips down. 
and then just float that hand back beside your foot, coming back onto the ball of the foot there. You're gonna straighten out that left leg like this. So if you're on your back knee, it would look like this. You would just straighten it and flex the foot. If your back leg is straight, same deal. You straighten the leg, flex the foot, and then just lower head to knee. So this is a major hamstring stretch here. Breathe, inhale. Exhale it out. Good, now come up a little bit, spin the toes forwards, and just come right back to the center in your straddle fold. Just let the head hang heavy, let your arms dangle. Turn your head a little bit from left to right, just loosening up in the neck muscles. Good, now inhale breath, half lift. Come up high on the fingertips here. And then exhale, pick up your right toes and turn to face this wall now. So we're gonna drop the back knee down and uncurl your toes this time. Now, push up a little bit. I want you to flex this back buttock muscle. Your left glutes, contract them. So it's like you're trying to push the pelvis forwards. And then hands right here on the thigh. You're gonna lift the head and chest up, shoulders back. Now take your left arm straight up, inhale. On an exhale breath, take your right hand down to the mat and then just kind of lean your body ever so slightly over to the right. Good, now come back up straight. Just switch those arms. So left hand down, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, a little side lean now to your left. And then one more time, switch those arms. So left hand floats up, right hand down, inhale. Exhale, side lean. And then switch, left arm down, right arm goes up, inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath, a little arcing over the head with that arm. Good, now both arms straight up, inhale here. And then exhale, breath, float your hands down to the mat. You're gonna push your hips straight back, straighten the leg and flex your foot here. Lower your chest down, so hamstring stretch on the right. I want you to think about digging your right heel downwards into the mat as if you're trying to make a heel print. So when you do that, you kind of activate the back of that leg. It'll protect you from overstretching it. Good, now come back up, set your toes down, shift the weight forwards, hands right here beside the foot. Tuck your back toes under, lift the back knee up, inhaling. And then exhale, straighten out that front leg and head to knee pose. Good, now from here, you're just gonna walk your hands around to the front, toes straight ahead here, drop it into a straddle fold and breathe. Good, inhale breath, half lift, look forwards. And then exhale breath, quarter turn, we're gonna go this way now. So set your left foot down, set the right knee down, uncurl the toes, and then you're gonna flex this right glute muscle and kind of push the pelvis forwards, hands on this front thigh, and as you press up away from it, bring your head and chest up here. So you don't wanna feel like a crunching, you know, in the lumbar spine. It's more of a lifting up and out of that pelvic bowl. So relax your shoulders down, and then stretch your arms up here, inhale. Exhale, float your left hand down to the mat. Inhale, reach that right arm up. Exhale, take a little side lean over to the left. And then as you come up, switch those arms, left arm up, right hand down, inhale. And then exhale, a little side lean over here to the right side. Good, and then come back up. Once again, left hand down, right arm goes up, inhale. Exhale, side lean to your left. Good, and then one more time, right hand down, left arm up, inhale, breath. 
exhale, side lean. Awesome, inhale, breath, right arm goes up to meet the left. And then exhale, breath, float your hands down, push your hips back. So you're gonna straighten out this leg, you're gonna flex that foot, so the toes pull up, and then just however far over you can go. So you might be right here. You might even have a slightly bent knee, and that's okay too. So if you're tightening the hamstrings, that might be necessary. But if not, straighten it. And if you're able to drop over more, go ahead and do that. And just stay there and breathe. So it's a big inhale breath. Exhale it out, dig that heel down into the mat like you're trying to make a heel print. Again, inhale breath. Exhale it out. All right, and then come back up. Now, from here, what we're gonna do is you're gonna shift the weight forwards, bend that front knee, and then walk your foot over to the front edge of the mat and then just let that knee drop out. So we're gonna take it into that zigzag stretch. So I did this, when did I do this? I did it either last, I might have done it last Saturday, but anyways, there was a question. And just anytime you guys have questions, you know, fitness or about the class or nutrition or anything, just, you know, after the class, go in there and just type me out a question because I do go back and I read all of your good mornings and hello and hi and goodbye, thanks, all that. So um, I try to acknowledge that. But there was a question last week and I did this, uh, you know, I kind of did this little test thing, if you remember, if you were in the class. And I was saying that it can determine where you're tight. Like one side, it might be just a piece of cake, easy to do it. The other side, it might be like, whoa, it's like a different body. And what that's indicating is tightness, typically in the glutes and in the piriformis muscle, that muscle that kind of runs laterally deep inside that glute complex. So if that's the case, say you're really tight on this side, you just might want to spend more time in a pigeon stretch. So I'm going to do some stretches here for that. And then we're gonna go on our back and I'll show you how you can do that same kind of a stretch, but on your back. So let's bring our legs into this kind of zigzag pattern here. I'm gonna actually scoot out just a little bit away from the wall. So two perfect right angles, sometimes it's called 90-90. So turn your body to face that way. Now, if you can let go of this back hand, do so. You might need to keep your hand there for support because your body's fallen over. But if not, float those arms up to the sides. Inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath. You're gonna turn your body to the front. The knees are gonna come up. And then you're just gonna drop it over to this side. So again, if you need to put that hand down for support because you feel like you're falling, that's okay. But if you don't need it, like maybe start there and then float that arm up, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath, let's turn to the center. You gotta lean back a little bit here as you do this. And then just rotate over to the side, inhale. And then exhale, breath, roll through. And then come over here to the right side, inhale, breath. And then exhale, breath, center. This time, we're gonna inhale, rotate this way. And then exhale, one hand by the foot, one by the knee. Flex that foot, I don't know if you can see me that close. Flex that foot, and then lower your chest down, down, down over that shin. Just however far you can go, it should feel super, super awesome. Inhale, breath, come back up a little bit. Exhale, maybe slide your hands out in front and bring your chest right over that shin, right over that calf. Good, now come back up. This time, bring the hands behind you here. Bring your knees up and just rock and roll a couple of times back and forth like that. It's kind of like a little glute massage. And then we're gonna go over here to the right and you're gonna stay right here. So inhale breath, one hand by the knee, one hand by the foot, flex that foot, lift up nice and tall. And then exhale, lunge the chest forward. Think of lengthening your spine out that way. Lower your chest right over the shin, right over the calf. You should feel just this amazing stretch in your buttocks. 
Come back up, inhale. Exhale, maybe slide the hands out as you go back down again. Getting a little deeper stretch. Good, and then come back up. And then face the front, and then just kind of rock back and forth, side to side there. Good, so swing your legs around here to the left, and then come down all the way onto your back. Go ahead and stretch those legs out straight, and just slowly using your abs, unwind your spine nice and slow. And then extend the arms straight over the head, inhale. And then exhale, breath, relax. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna bend the left knee and step the foot down onto the floor. Pick up the right knee, flex your foot, pull those toes back, and then externally rotate your thigh like that, and then cross your ankle over the thigh, and then just push the knee away first with your hand like that. So you're opening up right in here. There's a little muscle in there called the pectineus and it's sort of responsible for doing that movement, but this is stretching it as you push against that inner thigh. Okay, now just let go with the hands, pick up your left foot, and just kind of pump the legs in and out. So this is stretching that piriformis muscle, one we just did facing down on the floor. So you can grab your foot, grab your knee, and pull in. If you want a deeper stretch, try kicking that left leg up straight and then maybe reach around and grab behind. And as you draw the leg in, you could lift the upper torso up off the floor, bringing it closer to that thigh. Mwah, lost my grip. Get in there and release. So we're gonna do the other side, but if you can just Look for one second here, and I'll just, because this you probably can't do right now because you got to be up against a wall, but this stretch that we're doing right now feels wonderful if you can just set your leg up on the wall like that. So that's how you would set it up. You would cross your ankle, and then as you slide the left leg down, it automatically brings that leg in for you so you're not having to use like upper body strength to pull it in. And if it's not enough, you could just straighten that leg out and kind of shimmy your bum closer to the wall. And then again, just slide that leg down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Big time stretch in those glutes. So anyways, just wanted to show you that. And if you are on a wall and you were able to do that, great. But let's just do the other side. So step your right foot down to the floor, pick up the left, flex your foot, Rotate that leg outwards and then just cross your ankle over the thigh. Use your left hand to press the knee away. So just relax here. It's okay if your back arches a little bit. Not worried about that. You just want to get that wonderful stretch here right across the hip. And just breathe. Inhale. Exhale it out. Good, now just let go and then pick up your right foot and then just kind of push that knee into the ankle here. You're just kind of pumping the legs in and out, back and forth, a little dynamic stretch. And then you could bring it in and hold it there. You could grab your knee and your foot. Of course, there's the interlace behind the five figure four style way of doing it. So that's another way. Or you could straighten out that right leg all the way up and come around this way. And as you draw the leg in closer to you, you could peel your upper spine up off the floor, lifting your chest up towards your shin and ankle. Good, and then release. And then once again, if you're, you know, just wanting to stretch out again this afternoon, which it's not a bad thing to stretch several times throughout the day, just find a wall, straighten that one leg up first, and then cross the ankle over, push the knee out, 
And then as you slide your foot down, it all right away, it pushes that leg in there for you. So you're not having to struggle with the upper body. It's almost a little more relaxing that way because you aren't having to tense up other muscles to make the stretch happen. So just wanted to show you that wall. Of course, you have to have a wall that you don't mind putting your feet on. <laughs> I've thought about making this wall like a, that chalkboard paint. And then I could like draw all different kinds of things, you know? I don't know. I'm coming up with something up here. All right, so let's come into a sit position. You're gonna cross, not like we normally do, but I want you to bring your left foot in so that the foot is flush against that right inner thigh. And then go ahead and bend the left knee and just bring that heel in towards the mid shin there. So they're not overlapped, they're just kind of positioned on the floor, one in front of the other. So bring the hands right here beside you, flip the palms up, shoulders down, inhale, breath. Reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, breath, float the right hand down, take a little side lean over here and press that left knee down. Good, now just turn to face the mat and you're just gonna kind of round through the middle all the way over here, place the left hand down, sweep the right arm over and up, and then stretch that right arm out, look down at the mat, inhale. And then exhale, breath, bring it up. Good, now just shift the weight back enough to kind of redo the legs. So stretch out the right, stretch out the left. Now bring your right foot to the back of the thigh right there, and then just bend the left knee. It doesn't have to be in that close. It could be further out. Just depends on your flexibility and comfort level. Good, and then hands right here beside you. Inhale, breath, lift up. Exhale, breath, float that left hand down. Lengthen up and over, but press that right knee down. And then look at the floor. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, breath, kind of round over. Sweep through the middle. And then sweep this left arm across. And then reaching out here, inhale. And then exhale, breath, come on up. Good, shoulders roll around to the back. All right, so let's come up to a stand and if you've got a ball, grab it. If you don't, you've just got an imaginary ball. So however you wanna come up to a stand, that's how I came up. <laughs> and I'm gonna get my uh, little two pound chi ball here. So this was made by Danskin. I don't even know how long I've had this thing. I've had it forever and ever and ever. But you can find all kinds of interesting balls in the toy department. So what we're gonna do is just I'm gonna show you two kind of fun Tai Chi moves. One is the teacup, and we've done the teacup before, and it's great for shoulder mobility and flexibility. Um, the visualization for that was, of course, you're holding a cup of tea. And somebody, somebody wrote in there after that class, I dropped my teacup. And I'm like, it's a good thing you didn't have a real one. But with the ball, what you want to do is put it in the right hand. So stand with a slightly wide stance, soften the knees. So remember, in Tai Chi, it's a very relaxed, loose posture. So we're done with just firing up all the muscles and engaging. You want to be soft through the belly, soft in the shoulders even soft in your facial muscles. So relax the face, get a little Tai Chi smile. And so what you're gonna do is this left arm is just relaxed. The right arm is gonna come across the midline of the body over here with the palm up. So imagine it's a cup of tea, so do not spill it. We're gonna inhale breath as you draw the elbow past the waist here. So your eyes are looking here at the ball. You're gonna swivel it around. You're gonna swing it out to the side. You're gonna come over the top of your head and all the way around again, big sweeping circle. Inhale, breath, and then exhale. Draw that elbow right beside the hip and then spin it around and then bring it around over the head there. Don't worry about what it looks like. Just think more about what it feels like. And let's do two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw the elbow past. And again, follow that hand with your eyes. And then sweep it all the way over your head there. And then out to the side. One more time. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, pull it in. Swivel it around. All the way up over your head. 
good. And then we're going to bring it here into the left hand and just relax the right arm down. And then we're going to inhale, sweep it over here to the right side. Exhale, draw the elbow past this left hip and then kind of spin. It's like an internal rotation all the way out and ha ah, over your head there. And then big sweeping movement out to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw that elbow in. Swivel it around. Sweep it over your head here. Good, big giant circle. Try to really increase that range of motion. Two more, inhale. Exhale, breath, draw the elbow past the hip. Swivel it around. Circle all the way out to the front, over the head, out to the back, and around you go. Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale. Swivel it around. Good, and then all the way back. Good, and then just float up here. Inhale, breath. Bring the feet a little closer together. Exhale, float it down. So this is called opening the door. So we inhale, breath, float it up. Exhale, breath, float it down. And at the bottom here, just change hands. So it goes to the left. Inhale, breath, float it up. Exhale, breath, float it down. One more time. Inhale, breath, float it up. And then exhale, breath, float it down. And then pass it off to the right hand. This is called repulsing the monkey. So I'm going to turn a little bit this way. You're going to tap the left toe out in front. Right knee slightly bent and the hands are here in front of you. So with the ball in your right hand, drop it all the way down. Again, we follow that ball with our eyes. So we inhale breath here, up parallel, bend the elbow, and it's as if you're pitching in slow motion a ball, and then you're gonna roll it right across that left palm, just kind of pass it off gently like that. As you do that, switch the feet. So step left, tap the right toes out, and it's like you're pushing this hand out in front. Inhale, breath. Drop it down behind you. Bring it all the way up. Bend the elbow. Exhale, push to the front. And then as you pass it off, switch legs. And again, inhale, breath. Drop it down. Exhale, breath. Push it front. And then once again, push this right hand forwards. Tap the right toe. Inhale, breath. Drop it down. So it's really good for improving the flexibility in your chest, in your shoulders, even opening up the core. Inhale, breath one more time each way. Exhale, push it forwards. And then switch Pass the right toe. Inhale, breath, left arm down and around. Exhale, breath. Good, and then just float arms up. And then float the arms down. Inhale, breath up. Exhale down. And then off to the other hand. Inhale, breath up, opening the door. Exhale, float it down. Inhale, up. Exhale, float it down. Good, bring your feet together. Relax the shoulders down. Inhale, breath here. On an exhale, a little Tai Chi bow. And then come back up. All done. Very good. Hope you feel good now. So tomorrow we will be doing some upper body, all upper body, and some core, but mostly, you know, arms and shoulders and chest and back. And you're going to need bands. So the stretchy bands, if you've got some. If you don't, uh, message me and I'll send you a link of where you can get them cheap. And then some dumbbells. If you've got dumbbells, some of you are new here in the group. I know we have two new people. Everybody say hi and welcome the newbies. Um, but most people have stuff in their closet in the attic, so start scrounging around. Maybe even in bulk trash. You'd be amazed what people throw away on that bulk trash week here in Dallas. <laughs> it's like I've found perfectly brand new step aerobics benches and uh, gymnastics mats and blocks and just I mean all kinds of stuff so even thrift stores sell a lot of fitness equipment that's hardly used because most people buy stuff and then they never use it they have good intentions and unfortunately it just sits and gathers dust so the uh, challenge again this week just to reiterate it is uh, more produce in the diet so um, the challenge was just two fruits and then some broccoli. Just focusing on broccoli mainly because it's considered such a superfood. If you were stranded on a desert island and could only pick one veggie, that might be the one. 
And then as far as fruit, uh, blueberries are pretty high up on the list. Strawberries, of course you want to get those two organic. But uh, thank you for your notes about what you've been eating. Um, it keeps us all honest, right? So continue with that. And then tomorrow it's a two-minute plank and upper body. So I will see y'all in the morning. Have a wonderful day.